Hey guys, it's Misha and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be talking about a very influential public figure, Jojo Siwa. She's also known for her appearance on the reality TV show Dance Moms, where she is known for her bubbly and upbeat personality. She has signature bows, colorful clothing. She recently, however, has changed a lot. And that's, that's what we're going to be talking about, especially after she came out. She made it a huge deal on the internet. Of course, she got a lot of positive feedback, a lot of attention. And with lightning speed, she made it her entire personality. So I want to talk about Jojo because obviously she is very influential. A lot of young girls watch her. She's a great example of what being a child star does to people. Also how social media impacts young adults, especially with rewarding, oversharing. And we will, of course, look at the allegations as well. But before we start, please make sure you are subscribed and have hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So as I mentioned, Jojo had a very specific image. Her level of energy was very, very impressive. And I think she had to do that because she knew that her audience was mostly children, okay? So they like to see these bright colors and energy. So it makes sense why she did that for as long as she did. Fast forward to 2021, Jojo came out as gay. And nowadays, 2021, 2024, coming out as gay does not make you special. Not at all. Every other person is gay or bi or trans or whatever, okay? So it's nothing special. I don't think it warrants the sort of applause that people seem to get when they come out online and why I think so many people do tend to do that even if they aren't actually gay. And she started to change a lot on her TikTok, especially in case you haven't seen the well-known Draco Malfoy thirst trap by Jojo, I will torture you with it now because if I had to see it, so do you. Drop tosser. Oh yeah. She was dead before you could wipe the drool off your chin. What is that? What is that? Wait. It so I'm not entirely sure what possessed Jojo to post that. She started to share a lot about her sexuality, about her uh, girlfriends. There was a lot of drama. I think she had multiple public relationships at this point. And then she faked being pregnant like James Charles, because I think when she was a child, she quickly learned, right, that getting attention is very important. Staying relevant is very important. And it doesn't matter what you have to do, just as long as you are getting that attention. If it means faking pregnancy, if it means making Draco Malfoy thirst trap videos, it's okay. But then she shared with the internet that she actually does want children. She has it all planned out. She has a sperm donor, which yes, especially her younger audience really needs to be hearing that. Jojo, I heard you on your podcast. You've already named your children. Bully, bully. <laughs> really? I, have, I actually have two tattoos dedicated to them. Um, this one's dedicated to my baby girl one day. Her name is uh, Freddie. Then this is dedicated twin boys, Eddie and Teddy. Um, <laughs> Freddie, Eddie, and Teddy. Freddie, Eddie, and Teddie. I got, I want awesome. three babies. I have my sperm donor lined up. I'm sorry, but imagine if you're a child, right? Let's say you're a little girl and you love Jojo Siwa because that's understandable, you know, especially how she used to act and look like. You chuck back maybe. And that's what's going on. <laughs> I think you could just be traumatized. <laughs> So child stars often lack privacy. And so I think that might be playing a role here as to why she feels the need to share this with everyone. It's, um, it's odd. And the whole coming out thing, she kept talking about it and talking about it like many people nowadays do instead of, oh, okay, I am LGBT, congrats, wow, brave, amazing, fantastic, let's move on. It's a rebrand, everything is about sexuality. It's unfortunate because I don't think who you want to sleep with makes you special, okay? And that's how we treat people who come out on the internet. And the fact that she wants children, great, good for her. But it is a bit strange because, you know, she does act very childlike still, even though she has changed her appearance a lot. I think she's just going through a lot of different phases, I would say, at this point. Especially now that she has entered her bad girl era. <laughs> a new song. I'm gonna read you some of the lyrics, okay? It is called Karma. Boy, like I was a bad girl. I did some bad things. I swear I did it all for fun and it meant nothing, <laughs> okay? It never happened. It was a secret. Like when a tree falls in the forest, no one hears it. Another late night, another crazy mood, and I didn't think twice what it would do to you. I was a wild child. You always knew it. It was a matter of time before I blew it. Jojo Siwa was a wild child. She has a car, the Jojo Mobile. 
with her face on it. Thou shall not lie. Thou shall not cheat. Thou shall not get caught or you'll end up just like me. Oh, are we in church? What's with the thou shall not? Prime is a bit. I should have known better. If I had a wish, I would have never effed around. When I saw the pics of you and her, I felt the knife twist. Karma's a bitch and she's with you right now. Crazy mood. This feels like a delayed rebellious phase. Okay, this feels like what typically, maybe when you're 16, you go through that like bad girl, bad boy era. But I think we usually have it in high school. I mean, for me, that was like 14 to 16. I was a bad girl. And you just think you're like so cool because you're like bad. I'm not saying everyone has that phase, but I, I think most people do. And I think JoJo is going through that, but now at 20. And I think that's because she acted like a child for so long. She was forced to. That was her brand, right? I'm not blaming her for that, but she's going through that rebellious phase now. So this is her rebrand, right? This is her new style. Phone call. This is a random heaven phone call, okay? Nothing. It's, yeah, yeah, it's different. It's certainly different. That's all I have to say about that. It's hard for the person that I'm dating or talking to because, like, I can't do things. You know what I mean? Like, how yeah. most people can go on a dinner date. I'm uh, Georgia Siva. Can I have a private table in a private room? And it's great. You know what I mean? But then you have to know that, like, you're not but just. But you can't just go. Anytime that I'm away from my house. So, like, since this is about gay sex, I've only had sex in the privacy of my own room no no way you can't do it in public <laughs> what one thing about me is that when i was 12 demi lovato came out with the song cool for the summer i really really liked it and listened to it all the time i did not know what it meant back then but now that i'm much older and i understand i know what it means peter jenna dewan win on lip sync battle she did a really great magic mic number little me she didn't know she was gay a man was my first date he wanted to have me and i did not want to never wanted to grossed out by the thought of it immediately knew men are not my thing women are my gig gotta go okay congrats here's jojo wearing a shirt that says gayest person alive and that's what i mean about making your sexuality your entire personality because think about it if you saw someone wearing a shirt that said straightest person alive what would be going on through your head? I would personally think, okay, that person's probably not straight. I mean, if they feel the need to try and prove to the rest of the world that they are straight, straightest person alive, you'd think something's going on. Like maybe that person isn't straight. That's a very weird thing to wear. Jojo, if you're gay, congrats. I think you could. She could have just said, okay, by the way, I'm gay, but no. No, of course not. Now everything has to be about her sexuality. There was a Rolling Stones article. So they created this new group, XOMG Pop. And then four of the members left. It says the Sandersons, as well as multiple sources close to the production, alleged that the CWA subjected the children to grueling rehearsals, sometimes foregoing school breaks with meager compensation. They also alleged Sanderson was forced to work under intense physical duress, with Jocelyn encouraging her to attend a video shoot just a few weeks after she underwent spinal cord surgery. In one instance, just days before the surgery, they alleged that Leah started bleeding through her belly button during a rehearsal for a performance at the Children's and Family Emmys, which was hosted by Jojo. Rather than encourage her to take a break, the Sanderson say Jocelyn told her to put a maxi pad on it so it wouldn't leak onto her costume. They alleged that Jocelyn was overtly cruel to their young charges, calling them names and in one instance, shaming them for having a disability. And there is this one member who is accusing Jojo and her mother, uh, Jocelyn, of screaming at her, mistreating her. So here's that video. We were getting absolutely screamed at. She said they effing sucked. And then they. She said, You guys better have. You guys owe me $500,000. No, $200,000. Okay. No. $200,000. $200,000. Something along those lines because she thought that we didn't do good in our. Um, Rehearsal. Rehearsal. A little girl that we mentioned earlier that was having issues with breathing. She'd been to the doctor. She'd had breathing treatments. Um, she was really struggling to breathe. The Minnesota air is hard, I guess, if you have, like, lung issues. It was so uh -huh. cold. And she'd been to the doctor already. And they were threatening to kick her out of the performance. She was screaming and crying into her mic. It's saying, you guys, the energy is low. Y'all are sucking. Come on, guys, what are y'all doing? Like all of these things, they're, she's like, it's sloppy. And I understand, you know, especially if you take a look at some of these clips of how Jojo was treated on the show. You deserve nothing else. No crying children, not 
Well, if you yell at me, I'm gonna cry. Get out. Go. Go. Okay. Go. Go how this could have affected her. And although that can help explain why she and her mother did this, it's never an excuse, okay? Your past trauma, your past, you know, what you've experienced, that's never an excuse to go ahead and do that to someone else and repeat that cycle. And once again, I believe these are just allegations. So we don't know if any of this is actually true about what this uh, member of the XOMG is saying. But as I said, what we do know is how being a child star can interfere with normal childhood development. You have the pressure of working so much, of fame that can certainly affect someone's identity cause them to have some sort of identity crisis like we see here and their relationship i think jojo is struggling with her transition into adulthood and is having some difficulty shedding her youthful image right especially because she acted so much younger i hope that jojo and everyone like jojo on social media realize they don't have to share everything online they, re they really don't she called my mom I don't want her to see me cry. This is so embarrassing. It feels like she's always trying to prove something to her audience, right? Especially with all of these different phases she's going through and with how quickly she's changing. And it's especially concerning because what tends to happen with these child actors is after this identity crisis usually comes depression, mental health issues, and then substance abuse a lot of the time. And so I really hope that things will change for Jojo and maybe a little bit more stability will come from all of this in the end. I hope, but as I said, I do think that growing up in the spotlight tends to do more harm than good for these children. But I would love to see what you guys think about the Jojo Siwa situation, so make sure you comment below. Also remember to like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And you can also follow me on my other social media platforms that's in the description, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.